take A man beneath his shirt of weight As the ideas are slowly fading I keep walking through the grave So welcome back everyone, Mike here. Kind of a chilly afternoon here in western Pennsylvania. This morning it was really cold. It was about 19 degrees, something like that. But it's up to about 40 degrees right now. And later on today, actually in about three or four hours, they're calling for some rain and then turn to snow overnight. So we'll see how that goes. But believe it or not, I'm actually making some progress here on the mini cabin. I've been pretty busy back in the garage there at night. I made a bunch of pieces. I'll show you that here in a minute. And I also picked up some siding yesterday and I stained a bunch of it last night. So I hope to get some of that up today as well. But I'll kind of show you what I got going on here. So these pieces here, like I said, I made back in the garage. Uh, these two right here, this is for the uh, tops of the walls on the side. These little pieces right here are just temporary. Uh, they are to support the rafters on the ends and the overhangs. I built all them in the garage. All I got to do is put them up. Shouldn't be too bad. So as long as I measured correctly, this should go pretty well. So you can probably see up there in the top, those pieces I just showed you will go right here on the end. The last rafter with the overhang. And then uh, what I want to do, I need to put some bracing in between the rafters just to tighten it up. And I'll probably put some siding on this before I even uh, put the roof on. I know that's kind of backwards. This thing's tight. It's not going anywhere, but you get a little bit of wobble to it. And I want to tighten up the rafters and get some weight on it before I get up there on that roof. And I'm probably gonna have a buddy of mine come over uh, maybe tomorrow afternoon. That won't take long at all with two of us. So I'll get an extension ladder uh, and we'll get the roof done. Shouldn't take too long. Hopefully the weather cooperates. All right, now I gotta head over to the house and get the side by side and load up some tools and we'll come back and get started. What I should probably do, and by the way, a lot of people have been asking about the uh, RK37. It is totally fine. I just haven't been using it lately. I have been using the RK55 with the cab with that big firewood bucket because all the firewood we have been doing has been either right over at neighbor Cliff's place or stuff I have laying right along the trail. And then I just throw these uh, forks on the RK24 to bring this little stuff out. It's the only reason I haven't been using it. But what I need to do is put that big tool rack on it and the forks maybe. I don't know. I just always leave the grapple on that other tractor. But uh, yeah, because now i got to make two trips.
All right, it actually fits pretty good. To say it's perfect would probably be a little bit of a stretch, but uh, we're not exactly building a watch here. So I'm gonna nail it in place and then move on to the other side. screwed up big time. Oh well. So the other night I was working in the garage. It was kind of late and apparently I was spacing out a little bit. And I'll show you why. Let me flip this over. This goes on the far side. Everything is cut perfectly. Fits just great except this piece should be on this side over here. I can't believe I did that. Oh well, I was gonna to try to bust it all apart right here, but I think what I'm gonna do is take this back over to the garage. I'll fix this tonight, and then I'm gonna bring some siding back over here, because I need to get rid of some of it. I got it all over the place in the garage. I was staining late last night, and it's dry. I can put it up. I just stained one side of it, uh, but it'll be fine. So yeah, I screwed that all up. But anyway, I'll head over to the house. I do have to put a couple nailers in here first before I do that. And then I'll go over to the house, bring some siding back, and at least get the uh, garage cleaned out with that stuff and get some of it up. But the fear is that if I come back again, I'll be locked out outside your door. Alright, I'm going to take the uh, tractor back to the house, take this piece back that I screwed up, and bring back some siding. Looks like, just check the radar, I got about an hour, hour and a half before it starts raining. So I was thinking of something. That uh, end piece that I screwed up. That rafter, I didn't screw it up as bad as I thought. It'll be an easy fix. 
so that other piece you know that I'm talking about all I need to do is uh, cut those notches on the other side and the reason is you know that's all going to get covered anyway so I actually could have done that out here but no biggie that's funny you know because I screwed it up by not paying attention then I almost went to a whole bunch of more work by not paying attention Oh boy, it's coming in hot. I like the bell, you can kind of hear you coming, you know? I feel like Mr. McFeely. Oh yeah, I remember him. So Mr. Rogers movie came out this week. I saw that. We'll have to go see it and do a movie review. Well, we gotta catch Midway uh, first. Monday for $5, 550 movie night. How is it that, uh, we saw one movie last week. We're going to see another one next week. And that's more in like the last two years. I know. We're in, we got to get busy. Well, I screwed something up. And then uh, that rafter. See how I have this overhang built on this side? Yeah. The other side, I put the overhang on the wrong side. So I took it back to the house thinking I was going to have to tear it all apart. Yeah. But all I got to do is cut the notch in it because it's going to get covered up with trim anyways. It doesn't matter. So, oh, okay. What um, color did you order for the roof? It's uh, like a reddish burgundy kind of. Oh, I thought you were going to do that copper. It's too exp it's It's pricey. Oh. Well, then never mind. What do you think of this trim? Pretty nice. Or this uh, siding? Pretty nice. It is very nice. Very nice. What do you think of my new gloves? Well, I like them. I just got them at a tractor store. Um, very. And a guy came up to me and said, Excuse me, can I take a selfie with you? We watch your show all the time. <laughs> and I'm like, sure. So he takes a selfie and he's like, okay, thanks. He leaves. And the guy behind me had two little kids and the little girl goes, who is she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, I have a, I have my drink and my phone. Oh, you got everything. You're all set. So you hit up Arby's on the way I home. I got a sandwich and oh, you know, just regular roast beef. Everybody's tried them. They're good. You didn't know. Uh, With horsey sauce, curly fries, and a drink. But I got a chocolate chip cookie, double chocolate chip. Seriously, the best chocolate chip cookie. Really? I didn't see any food. You didn't really bring anything out of the bag for me. Oh no, it, that was hours ago. Yeah. How's your end look? A little more your way. There. Okay, now jam it down tight. And then what you do is you look right in here. You can see oh. that it's good and tight. Okay. 
So uh, Melissa, I just came clean with her on something. Not happy about that. You I might didn't... want to go down and discuss this with the camera. So I had that uh, framing nailer. And I mean, everybody knows you can't do this kind of work with a framing nailer. And I think I could have just got away with it as long as she didn't see them both together. But I came clean. Do you feel better? You gonna sleep better at night? Yeah. You're in, you're incredible. Yeah, well, I want you to know I got a new pair of gloves. <laughs> Six bucks. Get another one. Yeah, I might have to cut it. Measure it and see if it's uh, eight feet. We don't have to be too particular on the length because we're going to have trim. do I'll come over there and tap that down in a minute I'll just get one nail in it over here
you're on it, miss. Tell you what, I like that. That's gonna look really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Looks good. I like it. Now tonight I'm gonna stain more siding because uh Melissa's Jeep's been sitting outside for a couple days. And I got the whole garage like wood stain, yeah. workbenches, all kind yeah. of stuff. And it's cold in the mornings and there's no remote start. I so. know. It's going to uh snow tonight, they say. Okay. But it's going to rain here in a little bit. I guess we could wrap this up. Anything you want to uh, add, Melissa? No, thanks so much for all the support, the kind messages. We receive tons of um, emails and personal messages from everyone congratulating us on our silver play button from YouTube. So that was pretty we cool. We want to thank you guys. Yeah, thanks for all of our friends that are subscribers and, and viewers. And it's been great. So we just are very grateful. Thank you. Okay, so anyway, if you like these videos, click the like button, comment down below, share them with your friends, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.